r slash ask reddit. Teachers of reddit, what's the saddest thing you've heard a student say? I did a FBA, functional behavior assessment, on a second grader with emotional impairment. When I asked him the question who at school likes me he couldn't answer and wouldn't stop staring at the floor. When I told him that I liked him, he started crying. That is heartbreaking. Thank you for being supportive of him in that instant. Unfortunately, students with emotional impairments, no cognitive, learning, or ASD, are oftentimes diagnosed 2 to 3 years into elementary school and have already been labeled the bad kid or troublemaker. The statistics for EI kids are insane. At least 50% of students diagnosed with EI will do some amount of jail or prison time in their life. This is important to know. Thank you. I have two from the same open university in an economically depressed area. With tears, can I please turn in my paper next week instead of next class because my brother just got convicted and they are asking for the death penalty. Poor kid. That's a hell of a lot to handle at 18. This was an essay on the topic of why are you here? The student, an older woman in a freshman camp class, wrote that she'd had her kids at a young age, and now that they were grown, she wanted to show them that she could still make something of herself. And even though her husband told her that he would leave her if she went to college, she came anyway. Thank god it was a diagnostic essay, because how the hell would you grade that? I just wanted to cheer and hug her. And even though her husband told her that he would leave her if she went to college, she came anyway. Good lord, I'm so glad she ignored him. Hopefully things got better for her. Kids are grown. She's better off without a husband like that in my opinion. He was clearly trying to hold her back. Dunno if this counts as I'm the one that said it, but I had a pretty tough time at school. I had almost no friends and buried myself in my studies. My tutor was this tiny angry Welsh man called Mr. Evans who I didn't think even noticed I existed as I just kept my head down and had no interest in either of his subjects. Flash forward 5 years and I'm working a part time retail job whilst paying to learn accountancy at a local college. One random Sunday who walks in but Mr. Evans, he notices me looks surprised and comes over to talk. We shoot the shit for 5 minutes or so as he basically asks me how I'm doing, what I've done since 6th form etc. Before he goes I tell him I'm surprised he remembers me after all this time, considering all the kids that must have come and gone since then. He looks me in the eye and says you always remember the ones you worry about. You once spent 10 minutes and 1 mile lessons arguing with me about what the point of anything was in the politest way possible. It's great to see how well you're doing now. I'm glad things got better for you man. A second grader told me that he was feeling weird and tired that day because he didn't sleep much the night before because people were shooting each other on his street and his dad went out to see what was happening and didn't come back until morning. He was so worried he hadn't slept at all. Another student told me he couldn't take his ADHD medicine because his mommy sold it for food. I keep seeing all of these stories about food. My school does a little thing that isn't much, but definitely helps. Every Friday, kids with a low income is sent home with a sack of food, usually including water, juice, a can of tuna, a small bag of chips, raisins, and other small non-perishables. It's a way a kid can have a meal or two if they otherwise aren't able to. At least one of the elementary schools in my town does this as well. They've seen increases in attendance and, therefore, test scores because of it. I remember when a girl in our class told the teacher it didn't matter if they learned it, she was going to be dead in a couple of years anyways. At the time I told my mom, and she said the girl was probably just being dramatic, but the girl didn't come back after summer break. I think what she thought a lot, but I don't tell anyone. Huck. Yeah I don't really plan on making it to 20 but we'll see. My sister had a kid in kindergarten. Have a big breakdown seeing all the food getting thrown away after lunch on the first day. He had a bunch of siblings at home, and they were all hungry. It's the first time my sister cried at work. CPS was called and stuff happened. Food waste is a serious problem. Why do people keep throwing food away when they know other people in this world are starving? I don't mean those last few beans on your plate that you're too full to eat. I'm talking about the enormous quantity of food thrown away by companies because the foods weren't sold or didn't look normal while those foods were actually completely fine to eat. 
It really makes me angry. I work in a restaurant and the amount of food we throw out is unreal. If it's made wrong it goes in the trash. Someone doesn't pick up their tequila in the trash. It's such an insane waste when there are people starving a mile down the road. I had a kid with a rare brain disorder where, according to his doctor, one half of his brain was two years behind and one was two years ahead of schedule, or something like that. Couldn't find any info about it online. This resulted in unusually strong academic ability, but very poor emotional regulation. One day on the playground the little guy was doing some homework. I looked at him, and said something to the effect of go be a kid. He said well, I don't have time to be a kid. A little background. His mother makes him spend a lot of time at home doing brain trains, little cognitive exercises to support the hemisphere of his brain that isn't developed. These are time consuming and challenging. So, what he said hit me hard, don't even know why. Kid is mature, but the genetic lottery stripped him of his youth. Edit. Second grade. It made you sad, because you assumed he was sad. It is normal, because we have empathy, we feel as if our feelings can be applied to others. This kid, like you said, was born with a different biology. He may not have found happiness in the same things the other kids have. I wouldn't be too sad. A girl with exceptional talent at the piano reached a point where she couldn't focus on the notes due to vision problems. I asked her when she'd last been to the eye doctor. She said her parents couldn't afford it and had no insurance due to unemployment. I offered to pay for a visit to my eye doctor, to which her parents gratefully agreed. The exam revealed that she had glaucoma and was suffering vision loss because of damage to the optic nerve. You saw her talent and helped her out. The world needs more people like you. But also we need universal healthcare. My mom told me she didn't pack lunch because it was too expensive. Gave him my lunch. Ah, that's what my principal did to one of my students. No one likes him. He wants everyone to grow up and have a bright future. I'm starting to miss him reading this. I'd be careful what you say, could be the same guy. The kid didn't say anything, just mumbled that he didn't have a lunch. He also often goes out to buy lunch, probably just forgot his lunch. Are okay, I think there are people like that at my school. I was only sort of a teacher for one year. I worked at one of the national laboratories in the Bay Area, and as outreach we gave two science lessons each to all the schools in Oakland and Berkeley. On lesson 2 in one of the Oakland schools, from a 10 year old girl who was clearly having trouble paying attention. Sorry I wasn't here last time, my dad got shot. I said this when I was in middle school about my uncle, he's fine, a firefighter who got shot responding to some guy barricading himself in his house. Just wondering, was this person's dad okay in the end? Telling me I'm more of a mother to them than their mother. I had a few of those through the years. As a community college peer tutor I've heard too many kids and adults tell me about their depression, anxiety, addiction, and bullying for some reason one kid stuck with me. He told me about his autism and his love for writing movie scripts he said I know they are not very good so my dad always reads them and helps edit them. It was sad hearing him beat himself up about something he loved, but nice to hear that his dad always takes the time to go through long scripts with him often. Props to that dad for being there and encouraging his son. I would tell him that grammar and details are not as important as the ideas themselves. A surprising amount of things out there are like this. The Marvel guys for example were all pretty corny slash awkward slash weird, but people have refined and reimagined them over the years. Just one of countless examples. Best student in the general chemistry class, by far. Living in his car because he was basically disowned by his parents when they found out he was gay. He ended up sleeping on my couch and another instructor's couch for a month while we sorted out his financial aid and got him into some student housing. Thank goodness for people like you when your teacher treats you better than your own parent. Not a teacher, but overheard a girl and a teacher talking. We all went to a more special high school, smaller classes and more flexible schedules and such. He was trying to give her a pep talk about all the things she could do, since she seemed depressed that day and didn't feel like doing schoolwork. He was saying both short term and long term stuff, like getting herself a treat after school to cheer herself up, listening to favorite music, telling her she was smart enough to do anything she wanted, 
What broke my heart was when in response to the careers and future plans she said my family said girls can't do that stuff. She was from a fairly middle class family, white, owned a dog, and some of the parents were college educated, so it was a huge shocker to hear her say that. Talking to her later it turned out that she was only expected to go to college to find a boyfriend slash husband, so it didn't matter what she wanted to do. After that the teachers and other students who also overheard started to look out for her more and helping her when she needed it. Last I saw, on her FASA book at least, she seems to be doing very well, so I'm happy she's doing better. Still makes me feel sad that some people still think that being born a certain gender, boy or girl, stops them from doing certain things.